we are building the future. So I'm outside the uh, part of the construction site for the new subway system. So let me turn the camera and I'm going, we're going to walk around. We're going to take a walk right around the, um, the whole area actually. Building the future. So this is what the future is going to look like. <laughs> this is what the future looks like for you tomorrow. <laughs> Not too bad. And yeah, hey, thanks for joining everybody. Kia ora. It is sunset probably in another hour. So yep, about another hour. So it's perfect time to do this. Prangahapi Road's just beginning to liven up. And Craig, awesome. Building the future. Here we go. So I just, so here we've got some images of the subway that's being built at the moment. And this is stop three on the subway line right outside my house. And it's the deepest of all the subway, of all the tunnels that they've had to build. Marcia, Kevin, hey, kia ora. So this is, hey, we're, we're gonna be living in the futuristic city. So that, look, you can see right down there, there's a, some sort of construction machine <laughs> and this great big long ladder I think it's something like 230 meters underground it's really really a long way underneath but we've got images all the way around the construction site here um, yep so this is where it's all happening here they are <laughs> kia ora Ken nice to see you how's the coffee going <laughs> yeah here they are building building you know it must be amazing to be working down here uh, it's, I mean, it's very wet and, yeah, incredible. It's, it's taking a long time, but it's going to, it's, look, they're getting there. They're working hard every day. Tave, um, how are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining, everybody. I wasn't really in the mood to scope, and then I thought, I went for a walk um, up to my local supermarket to get a couple of things. I'm joining an online cooking class tomorrow from Japan cooking okonomiyaki and look at it wow it's amazing isn't it yeah oh no you're welcome Ken that was nice and so I popped and then I thought oh the street's looking really quite interesting I think I better take everybody for a wander so that's what we're doing <laughs> so I'm going to just show you um you know we could just have blank walls here and which wouldn't be very exciting but then we do have things that make it really really exciting <laughs> They've decorated. Glenn, awesome. Yeah, nice to see you. Wow. My oldest, most fabulous viewer from the very early Periscope days. We're cooking okonomiyaki tomorrow. It's like a Japanese pancake, and I needed to get some special ingredients. And we do, I'm doing a Zoom class where they've selected um, 20 people. And I'm one of them. So I'll do a little bit of it on Instagram. I'll set up my phone alongside. <laughs> well, I know, I know. But you know, we have lots and lots of lots and lots of rules and stuff happening here. And I guess in Hong Kong everybody works a bit harder than they do here. <laughs> but we're not complaining. So we're sharing local creative talent with our community, festival of photography. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk you up here. Yesterday I was scoping from the Hopetown Bridge, which was just through, is just through there. Yeah, it's just through there. So that was where I did yesterday, just as the sun was going down. So we're going to go for a little walk up to Karangahapi Road, cross Karangahapi Road, and head down Cross Street, do the block and come up East Street and back along K Road. How does that sound? <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you're building a subway. And lucky because they've knocked off for the day. Otherwise, I couldn't be doing this. They would be steering me across the road and in the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay, Pittsburgh, how's it going, Molly? No, Marcia, thank you. Oh, now I'm in such a good mood that I've actually hit the go live button. And it sort of really does cheer you up a bit. So that's my, my auto house over there, the Samoan Fale. It's um, a little event centre that we have here. My auto, Beresford, we're in Beresford Square now. <laughs> yeah, HAPS is looking amazing, isn't it? And you can just, pat, if you're on your phone, you can just tap the screen and it hides all the comments. I just love it. It's really amazing. 
So yeah, we're in the middle of the city. I can walk down to downtown from where I am, about 15 minutes walk. But interesting buildings around here, and fortunately, they haven't had to pull any of them down for this construction. I can just walk in the middle, it's fabulous. <laughs> it's fabulous. We've got Hopetown Alpha here. I'm puffing, just coming up that little hill. What's wrong with me? <laughs> Bernie, awesome. Nice to see you. I'm loving Haps, it's just fantastic. Yeah, it's really great, Bernie, yeah. I just noticed that this morning too. So if, you haven't, if you're not seeing that feature, just update your phones, just update, and you'll get it. It's really awesome. It's what we, exactly what we wanted for travel because travel was taking a little bit of a back seat here. Actually, Sky Tower's just through here. We might see it. Oh, where is it? Oh, where is it? It's hiding. No, it must be behind that. Oh, no, there it is. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there it is, there's Sky Tower. Whoa, so that, yeah, about 10 minutes walk from here. Whoa, it's a little bit cloudy on top. Okay, let's keep going. Kia ora. Hello, I'm good. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, this is the old ambulance station here, and it's gorgeous. And as you can see, we're open. Yeah, we're open. Road closed, slow down. My dad works here. <laughs> yes, it is, Bernie. It's fantastic. Gloves, gloves must be worn on site at all times, full PPE. Actually, we had a workplace death in Auckland this morning because we had a freak, freak tornado go through. <laughs> had a freak tornado go through um, at the container depot in South Auckland. And one the containers obviously blew over with the strength of the tornado and one person was killed and another two are injured. So that's really terrible. You saw that on the news, yeah. So yeah, so here we go. This is all, this is, so this is going to be an entrance to the subway station. And the actual subway station, we're gonna walk, um, we're walking to that area as well. We're just walking past here. So yep, nice decorations here, red, white, and blue. <laughs> sound control solutions because you know a lot of people living around this area so yeah so the old ambulance station there which is fabulous and the old gas works here just seeing the top of it high lift some big thing here's bravo we're just going to walk along here because there's this lovely mural here for the area now we get into the interesting artwork part all our local birds and bees Karanga Happy Road. We've got a map here on the floor. So they're really doing their best to keep everything open and alive while all of this is happening. <laughs> Very cute, isn't it? Yeah, terrible, terrible. Pitt Street. We're just at the, we're in Beresford Square and then next we're getting on to Pitt Street. And then through here is where all the action is, all day long. But I think they have a day off on Sunday, but they have been working today. Yeah, lots of people sitting outside. Saturday night's about to happen. I'll actually be up here a little bit later for dinner. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ken. See you. Oh, nice music playing. We're outside the Northern Line uh, in social <laughs> nice little bit of gentle music happening. Oh, we've had Father's Day. We had it in May. Or was that Mother's Day? Oh, no, I think Father's Day is coming up in September. Oh, I'm terrible. I think it's September. <laughs> yes, Bernie, I'm getting this in. I'm actually going out for dinner up here tonight. Uh, we haven't made a plan. We're just going to walk the street and see where we can find it. Always gets really busy up here because, as you can see, as we come around the corner, it's lots of you never got to go hungry on K Road. Lots and lots of food places. Shirley, awesome, awesome. And 
Next Saturday, I'll be bringing you all to a huge celebration here that's starting at three o'clock in the afternoon. So a little bit earlier than this, three o'clock in the afternoon, we're celebrating the finish of all the works here on Karangahapi Road, which has been, this has been an ongoing, um, the street, not the subway, but the street improvements have been going on and on. So here we have a little pocket park. <laughs> so this is where, you know, you can just have a little pop-up event here which is pretty cool and so next Saturday we will be having some events but it's a great little selfie photo um, photo stop as well very psychedelic <laughs> it's pretty cool pot plants to match sorry Paku the toilets are just behind there and yep there we go so Karanga Happy Road looking at George Courts used to be a department store in the old days. I'll let you into a secret. My very, very first job I had, I worked in that department store. <laughs> I worked there. I think it stopped being a department store around the 1990s. I worked up there on the top floor that you can see. <laughs> yeah, the colours are great. So we're at the crossing and this is Pitt Street and Karangahapi Road and all the gorgeous old buildings, of course, everywhere. We're going to go across this way. So we're going to go straight down over here and then we're going to do a circle and we're going to end up coming back along the street and I'll probably finish around where the palm trees are. So Karanga Hapi Road. Karanga means to call and Hapi was the name of a prophet. And that how, that's how it got its name because it's the one of the few original streets or tracks in New Zealand, in Auckland. Um, and Happy the prophet. Now that's another story. <laughs> but he called the people across from the Waitemata Harbour to the Manukau Harbour, and this is the way they travelled, and that's how it's got its name, Karanga a Happy. So Karanga a Happy. We're going to walk down here. <laughs> empty shop so they've made it look nice and we're going to head down this is cross street so hb so that stands for hellenstein brothers that must have been the old menswear store in the old days it's now a i think it's a hostel or backpackers yeah yes because of all the rain that we have this is a second-hand clothing store in here or op shop charity shop whatever two dollars two dollars <laughs> oh, no. like he's, he's okay he doesn't want to be on here do you <laughs> bit of a pub here <laughs> they want me to show that guy but i won't he's shy mercury bar and gaming anyway we're coming down here now gaming room open okay canada how's it going kevin yeah lots of gorgeous buildings this is my favorite building of the area this is the old mercury um mercury theater oh i wonder is it open i think it's open it's gorgeous it's beautiful and it's still in its original condition because it's now owned by a church Oh, I'm not sure if we can go in or not. Um, I'll just I'll just check and see. Can I? Is it okay? I'm just doing a little live streaming video of the area. Can I just come in and show? Yeah. I bought my kids to see Peter Pan here years ago. <laughs> yeah. So this is the old theatre. Wow, it's amazing. Look. Whoa. Can I? Is it okay? Can I go up or? I'm just doing a little live stream video, just walking around the area. Yeah, you come with me. Open. We'll go. go. And, we'll go and see. <laughs> here we go, everybody. Get, have you got your tickets? You'll need a ticket to get in here. <laughs> Hi, Kelvin. Oh, you're on Periscope. Yeah. Now, oh, uh, maybe not. I think my signal is not going to be any good. No, I'll go back. We'll, we'll come and have a look through this way. <laughs> Uh, we've got a poor signal. Tell me how it is. Hey, Vanita. What's happening? 
There's no light. Be able to see anything ah, this is the old theatre. Whoa. So I brought my kids to see Peter Pan here, and Peter Pan flew onto the stage on a rope. It was amazing. It was amazing. Our oh, signal's good? Great. Um, I think you can get an idea of what the theatre's like, though, because it's very, very original. This is a, um, a lead, lead ceiling here. And the beautiful thing about it is that nobody's actually interfered with the, um, with the, church, with the building. So the church just come in here and have their um, use it, have their services, the old bricks. Wow, nice. Thank you. <laughs> See you again another day. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Anyway, that's the Mercury. And it does have a, um, like a rating. I'll cross the other side. It does have a rating like an, I was going to say, hysterical um, and historic uh, rating so nothing can be done to it and there it is it's beautiful whoa yeah wow and this is the great thing about going for a walk and taking you all along we discover something new every time so there we go we got inside the mercury <laughs> uh, and now we're getting back to what I was showing you which was the all the artworks that are decorating up the building of the subway. So this is what's around this area. It's Miller's Coffee, that's where I did our coffee. Uh, coffee roasting scope from. These go all the way up here, look. Gorgeous, beautiful, all our periscope hearts. <laughs> that is fantastic. It's 3D too, whoa, nice. And so that goes all the way up there as well. Lightning misses you. I won't go all the way up. Oh, we'll just go and have a look at these little frames here. It's quite interesting. Yep. I wonder if we can see through here. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're peepholes. <laughs> these are peepholes for looking into the subway. Nice. Whoa. How's it going there, Benita? Are you all good today? That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Can, does this one work too? No, just that one. <laughs> oh man, this wall got out of hand fast. <laughs> Peepholes, yes. Yeah, amazing. Wow. Oh good, I fixed it. Great. That's awesome. I think it's fantastic the way we've all um, connected and for, for those of you now you know that you can just tap the, ske the screen and you're going to lose the comment, you're going to hide the comments until you want them back again. Yeah, this is just the beginning of it. So Krangahubi Road is, I'm very happy I live here because it's very great community, um, great community and very forward thinking and a great business association making sure that everybody's happy. It's a great place to get a tattoo as well. I always say to my tourists, it's the best souvenir you'll ever get. It'll last you, if, last you forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna let these cars go by and then we're gonna walk down, then we're gonna walk around. Are they going, are they going? A couple of cars and then we'll be safe. Ish, safe ish, I say. <laughs> Here we go. Off we go. Oh, OMG, it's Casey. Awesome, nice to see you. We're just having a little wander around Karangahapi Road. Cut more cars. So this work is by an artist called Misery. Um, she's amazing. Um, she's done street art and huge posters and murals. She's quite famous here in Auckland. And I think she might have a little exhibition on at the moment as well. So let's, uh, the road just narrows a little bit here, so I can't, I'll be able to step across and get close up now. <laughs> so misery. So she's always done these really amazing sort of anime faces, the style. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? The colors are just amazing. So, so this is Cross Street. 
This is where the coffee roasting is. It's the yellow building there is Mercury Plaza. And I think that's where they have an exhibition of misery at the moment. Okay. Look. Yeah, they're just beautiful. Look. Big fat puffer fish. <laughs> uh, and I wonder what happens to these boards. Nice mushrooms. I wonder what happens to these boards when it's all finished. So we can get down around here. Nobody's working, which is... Oh. Oh, somebody is working. <laughs> That's okay. So this is where, this is actually where the subway station is going to be. So it's going to be right here, and where we started will be the entry. So we'll get around the front here, and when we get around the front, it's interesting because that's going to be the that's where the pink cycleway starts from. So I think you all know. You've all got your bearings. You know exactly where we are. Lucky we didn't have a tornado here. Look at all these containers piled up. The backside. Oh, we've got a nice mural behind us too. Parking, $12 for weekends. I don't know whether that's for one day or two. And vegan, vegan tunai. Two vegan something there, tunai. This is part of the Lim Chow supermarket. Um, yeah, the back of the parking area there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, we've, we're getting heaps and heaps of street art everywhere, which is good. I saw, um, so not too far away from here, there's a whole area all being, being like blank walls are all being done with, um, with beautiful big paintings. So turn up and go with a train at least every 10 minutes at peak times. Now that's not like Tokyo, there's about one every two minutes and I'll, <laughs> 10 minutes is too long to wait. <laughs> Quicker journeys are coming. A modern train service for Karangahapi Road. This is what it's going to look like. Nice, look. So this will be our station here. With the magic word. <laughs> next to the Mercury Plaza. So, a modern train service for Karangahapi Road. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Coffee, yeah. There we go. No induction, no access, no exceptions. You know, it's massive what they just build for the construction of it and everything's underground and they've had to build all of this overground and they've got the flag up because normally the flag goes up when the roof goes on so obviously something's happened yeah be careful Auckland on track for a better future <laughs> now we're going to start looking at these ones I wonder what will happen to them because they're real works of art aren't they I just wonder what's going to happen to them afterwards. Maybe they go into storage and they might bring them out in a hundred years and say to everybody, well, this is what happened in the old days. <laughs> but above, see they've had to build this enormous big tunneling machines and all sorts of things through here. Nice pussycat. This is our first subway, Alvi, yeah. So it'll be amazing. It's due to be finished in 2024. We've had a lot of hold-ups. Um, had a lot of hold-ups. Here's the pink cycleway, and the kids are just coming off it over here now. There you go. <laughs> so if I'm going home, I can actually take the pink walkway or cycleway and it ends up in front of my house. These are, I wonder who this artist is, because these are fabulous. Um, this one, the cat, is called Pussyfoot. Yeah, I mean, these would be really, really great. They might line the subway walls with them. <laughs> yeah. 
This is Gary. Nothing coming, so let me step out a little bit more. <laughs> and then we've got, oh, we've got the Las Vegas girl. Ah, Rita, fantastic, nice to see you. There's the Las Vegas girl. She really is up there on Karangahapi Road. She is um, guarded as well, or has a heritage thing where she can't be taken down. One of the old strip clubs on Karangahapi Road. Coffee cup. <laughs> Nice. Whoa, I love him. I love him. I love him. <laughs> oh, next we've got meat. Whoa, okay, here we go. Meat is murder. How's it all going there, Redder? Getting hot down there in Florida? He's got a wicked beak, look at that. Move along a little bit further, live conductors in area. I'm sure they're not talking about train conductors. They'll be talking about some sort of electricity. Oh, here, here electrical, ele electrical thing. <laughs> um, a tuatara. Tuatara is our native reptile. Lives for hundreds of years, so this is a tuatara. No, it's not. It's actually really warm. I'm just, in, I put a jacket on to come out, but I've just been in a t-shirt all day, and this is very unseasonal weather for um, June. It's mid-June. It's usually winter time. This is Lou. <laughs> Hi, Lou. He's rather a beautiful tiger with his anorak on. <laughs> and then all this building stuff happening here. I've got a big sort of tank here as well. There's Sky Tower. Yeah. Oh, here's a. What's what? You, what's he? Uh, he's not a cockatoo, is he? What is he? Sink or swim, it says. Sink or swim. Not sure what sort of bird it is. Can you help me out with this one? <laughs> 29. 29's not too bad. It's not too hot. I don't like it when it's above 35. Trying happy road buildings. Interesting, aren't they? Look. Um, temperature, I think, is around 18 or 19 here. This is Celsius, we're talking. Oh, penguin? Yes, maybe a penguin. That's him. He is. Thanks, Kevin. Kelvin. Fabulous. He's a penguin. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's got flippers. Oh, that was the clue and I didn't even get it. <laughs> I'm busy looking at his eyes. There we go, we've got a hair. <laughs> oh, we've got some nice birds here too. And then we've got a sheep, of course with a fabulous hairdo. <laughs> These are pretty fabulous, look. It says here, no flock, no future. Yeah, it's pretty, it's really gorgeous, isn't it? It's beautiful. And I think the theme here is to not kill animals for food. Uh, AFCO is Auckland Freezing Works, where they do kill, kill everything. Yeah, so I think that that could be the message here. And, yep, and he's a construction worker, obviously, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. More live conductors in this area as well. So a car could sweep around the corner at any moment. So I'm going to cross to the other side of the road. Electric bikes are here. Just show you the beginning of the pink walkway. Only the beginning because this is where it starts from. Depending which way you go. 
and we'll turn around and get a view from here of the whole mural. So that's State Highway 1 there on my left. And the Pink Cycleway continues up to Karangahubi Road, up um, East Street. And there's the mural. Great work of art. Oh, we've got more yet. Our stations, our stories. Ah, urban jungle, here we go. Urban jungle. <laughs> oh, it's by Paul Walsh. Oh, Paul, he's amazing. My goal with this design is to represent the urban jungle, the vibrant people, fashion, music and cultures that inhabit the teeming ecosystem we call K Road. It's a playful, light-hearted artwork in what I guess would be my signature style, inspired by the anthropomorphic animals often found in internet memes, rendered in a spray paint based approach that draws upon my personal background in graffiti and street art. So there we go, Paul Walsh. Fabulous. So let's keep going. We're going to walk up to Krung Happy Road. There we go, this is what's happening in here. This is our massive, um, which is going to be our massive subway station. Blaine, awesome. We're just at the beginning of the pink walkway here. And we're walking up to Krung Hubby Road. So we've just been looking at the future of Auckland. <laughs> How's it going, Blaine? <laughs> yeah, the mural is really, really gorgeous. And we're just going to continue up here because they're making all the construction area look more beautiful with all the artwork. Moana Waiwai. Moana Pati. Uh, from open seas to shallow waters. Okay. Oh, I should have read this before we started. Sorry about that. Oh, actually, probably I'm going the, the wrong way. Moana Wall. Uh, correct. Oh, okay, it's at the top of the street. That's good. That's good. We're at the top of the street. Kelvin, off you go. Thank you. Here we go. This is the start of it. Moana Wai Wai. Nice. I will actually walk in the cycle lane. Here we go. Great. Sexy slutty queers since ages ago. <laughs> this is great. Whoa. See ya, Kelvin. Thank you. Chew your words. It do. The other self. Reclaim your narrative. Oh, this is good. Beautiful. Look. And above us, we have this giant crane. Oh, where's the top of it? There it is, way up there. Blaine, do you like the new update? It's fantastic, isn't it? Got beautiful, uh, beautiful leaves here, and you probably can't see. I'll cross over. This paradise that forbades her return to paradise. If I'm lucky, I'll catch her at the moment. She is neither obliged nor resting from obligation. Yeah. So you can see what we've done to our streets. This has always just been a one-way street, but there was parking over there, so they've turned it into a cycle lane. Yeah, I love the fact you can tap the screen and the comments all disappear. Yeah. How much longer on your little trip, Blaine? How, how long are you away for? If it's her turn on the roster, then she'll be arranging flower bouquets to frame the church tabernacle. <laughs> I don't know what all these little sayings mean. Or, okay, she might be watching her favorite YouTube channel that specialize in the dramatic lives of the royals. Oh, you go home today. Oh, well, safe, are you flying home, I'm sure? Or cooking rice to accompany a soup that stretches ingredients to feed everyone. Okay. Whoa. It's a whole story down here. 
There's a whole story. Let's look down the street a little bit. See the old buildings in here? I'll go back a bit. See the old, old original houses? Not so many of them left now. I'd love to live in one of these. They'd just be fantastic. Flying home to Vegas, yeah. How long is your flight? They'd be gorgeous, look, little two-storied um, houses. There's two of them there joined together. All built of wood. All built around the late 1800s, I guess. Hey, thanks for joining everybody. Then the Samoan radio will be turned on while the rugby plays because it's comforting to hear people on talkback speak in your mother tongue while watching a sport that is all too familiar in the front yards of boys with a dream. <laughs> Kia ora, Mercedes. Nice to see you. Five hours. Far out. That's flying further than here to Australia. <laughs> it's like going to Tahiti. <laughs> Okay, here's the artists. Good. Okay, so this is, okay, divides up. Then we've got a gorgeous old wall here. Oh, helicopter. Because, helicopter because it's, where is it? There it is. <laughs> we've got a big rugby game happening tonight. I think that's what it'll be there for. Big rugby game, and um, yeah, so that'll be that'll be that. Let's walk up here a little bit. Beautiful things. Art, coffee, and discover. Okay, we can do this one day. Beautiful things. Art, coffee, discover. I like it. It's eight thirty coffee too, which makes it even better. <laughs> <laughs> that's in here oh it's closed at the moment beautiful things so little art gallery nice finding marbles oh <laughs> hi Ooh, they're going in they might live there so Galatos Street here down the back And just coming up, lovely old buildings here. A lot of these are art galleries, which is really awesome. This looks like it might be a church, maybe. Saying that, I'm not sure. Could be a bar. This looks pretty um, industrial in here. Yeah, which is great. 3,540 k's from Georgia to Utah. Wow. You had rugby at your college? Yeah. It's a big, big thing here, of course. I don't think it's a church. I think it might be a bar, actually. <laughs> I can see lots of bottles in there. Oh, yes, they're shaking cocktails. That's what they're doing. Sorry, wrong, wrong sort of event. This grey building has about five art galleries in it and some fabulous shops. And here we have Zigzag Boutique. This is one of my favourite. Um, this has been here for quite a while, favourite murals of the area. Zoe Hall. Oh, it's okay. Hey, it's, uh, yeah, it's me again. <laughs> Kia, Kia ora. <laughs> Got lots of wire around here too. <laughs> I wouldn't want to climb over that, that's for sure. Okay, back up a little bit further. Uh, now we get to the other, the other artwork. I can't remember their names now. It'll be on here somewhere. These are gorgeous, look. Wow, amazing. And these are just like blank walls of buildings that would otherwise just be left to get all dirty and lots of graffiti on them. So it's really, really great. We've even got spots. Follow the spots, everybody. Off we go. Follow the spots. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. Uh, if 
focusing on the wrought iron gate. Blaine, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just getting on to K Road now. Uh, you'll like this bit. I, uh, puppeteer, bad bishop. Okay. Just getting up here onto Karanga Happy Road. Over here, this is a fantastic shop, Babalog. And they have a little coffee shop in the back as well. There I am walking over to it. <laughs> this is all repurposed, recycled, reinvented, which is great and lovely furniture and bits and pieces. Blaine Coco's is down that way. Are we going to head off in the other direction? Oh, there she is. There's the Las Vegas girl we saw. Whoa, there she is. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm coming up here for dinner tonight. Uh, in fact, probably we're coming up at 6.30, so I'm not sure where we're going to eat yet. Babalog. It's lovely. Yeah, nice coffee at the back. Okay, walk. So this is East Street. And so we've done the, we're just continuing the block. This is the art space here. They always have a really interesting exhibition, which they've just packed up for the day, but it looks like they've got some sort of, like, they've got a bar, um, gas bottle, barbecues, big boil-up things. <laughs> oh, you're still in your accommodation, are you? I thought you might be at the airport. So, Karangahapi Road, as we walk along. You're finishing in a couple of minutes, so... Yeah, Coco's, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coco's is already busy because I've just come past that way. So they're already busy. You have to come back and we need to go. We need to, um, hey, we could charter a plane. That would be a fabulous idea. And we could call it the Haps, the Haps plane. And we get everybody on it and you all come down. Little local convenience store here. This is hair braiding and dreadlocks. Do all these fabulous hairstyles in here. Next we've got va discount vapour and dairy. Winter warmth and wellness, cosy up with cosmic. It's quite bright around here. Hey! <laughs> Apero, which is a fantastic place to eat. This is French and we love Apero. It's very, very small as you can see. They've just won an award. Next we've got the Saloon Bar. This is your territory, Blaine. <laughs> You're always going to be well entertained on Karangahapi Road. Gaming. The Family Bar. And one, a mini rainbow crossing. We do have a couple of beautiful rainbow crossings here. This is just a mini one. Just going into Family. They're not open yet. Oh, we've got the Tiki Hut. Oh, Blaine, it's behind me. It's on the way to Coco's. Yeah. It's on the way to Coco's. Yeah, we need to go back there again. Yeah, no, ma'am. Thank you. Now we're, here. now we're going to end up in Thailand. Thai food. Matt, awesome. Nice to see you, Thailand. Salt and batter. New fish and chip shops just opened here. Hi, girls. Sounds like it's a good time. You girls okay? Here's all, all my little friends from Kurungabi Road. <laughs> Kia ora. Tip top ice cream, yes, yeah, yeah, oh, and another little one as well. So, yeah, we've got lots of people watching from around the world. So, yes, nice. <laughs> free bird, K Road, free bird. So, this is chicken, nice chicken shop. So, free range chicken, winter pig, yeah, uncaged chicken in here, nice. There we go, more of these. These are all the way along Karangahapi Road. You're never going to run out. 
of your supplies. <laughs> and Indian in here. Now, interestingly, if you've been here all the time, we're called into the Mercury Plaza. This small space here, this was the original entrance to the Mercury Plaza. And here's the original floor. And I don't know that the doors are original. They might be. But the ceiling is fantastic. Look, it hasn't been, like the theatre, it hasn't been touched at all. Ooh, it smells good in here. <laughs> it hasn't been touched. It's really, it's really good. Evan, how's it going? Nice to see you. So here's today's special. So we're almost back to, it's getting dark. I must have been going for a while. Yes, 45 minutes. Uh, the lights are all coming on everywhere. This, um, this is sort of like the twilight hour on Karangahapi Road. So tonight, this hot, here's the uh, people being people. This is the, yeah, this is the $2 clothing store. Op shop. So, this is where we walked down here. We've had a look at everything down this street. And fabulous to see you all. <laughs> I'm just going to do my usual goodbye thing. So thanks very much for joining me. Kia ora, ka kete. Have a great flight, Blaine. <laughs> I was going to say brain. Have a great flight, brain. It's okay. Yeah, I'm that way. Yeah. And um, yeah, so have a great flight. I will see you. Hey, when I see you. Okay, thanks everybody. Kia ora. I'm just going to turn the camera and we're going to turn around and look across at the gorgeous Pitt Street buildings from 1904. How's that? Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining. Um, have a great Saturday night wherever you happen to be. And we'll see you all later. Take care. Yes, take care Mercedes. Thank you so much everybody. Bye for now. Okay, see ya. <laughs>